faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it. And it'll just rip. And I'm terrified by it. Imagine gazing up at the familiar constellation of Orion, where a single star has drawn the eyes of sky watchers for millennia. Suddenly, without warning, that star begins to blaze so brightly it casts shadows upon the Earth. The sky itself seems to shift, as though a new dawn is breaking in the depths of night. That is the vision Neil deGrasse Tyson has painted for us, conveying the thrilling reality that Betelgeuse, Orion's fiery shoulder, is on the brink of exploding into a supernova. No longer confined to the realm of theoretical astrophysics, this cosmic event is poised to dominate our sky in a spectacle that promises to outshine the moon. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. Betelgeuse sits at the threshold of stellar mortality. As a red supergiant nearing the end of its life, it has long been known that its core is collapsing inward, fated to detonate under its own immense gravity. What Tyson has revealed is a set of fresh observations suggesting that this collapse is no distant eventuality, but an imminent reality. He describes a series of recent fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness, recorded by both professional observatories and backyard telescopes around the world, that indicate the star's outer layers have begun violently pulsing. This behavior is a signature of the instabilities that precede a supernova, and it means that within human timescales, perhaps even within our lifetimes, Betelgeuse will transform the night sky as nothing has since the invention of the telescope. At first glance, it might seem impossible for a star nearly 700 light years away to influence us so profoundly. Yet when Betelgeuse enters its supergiant finale, its luminosity will rival that of an entire galaxy cluster temporarily turning night into a canvas for cosmic fireworks. Today, the star is so cold, its surface temperature floats around 3,500 Kelvin, giving it that deep, ruddy hue, visible even to the naked eye. But in its final moments, the outer shell will collapse and rebound with the force of 10 million atomic bombs, sending shock waves that heat plasma to hundreds of millions of degrees. Gamma rays will flood outward, and when those gamma rays interact with surrounding stellar material, they will produce visible light bright enough to cast stark silhouettes against the terrain. Our sky will light up, and the memory of our familiar nocturnal canopy will fade into legend. What does imminently mean in the language of astronomy? For those of us governed by daily schedules, a few months or even a couple of years can stretch the imagination. But Tyson reminds us that from a cosmic perspective, a time frame of decades is the blink of an eye. Observations chronicling subtle shifts in Betelgeuse's radial velocity, spectral anomalies in its hydrogen alpha emissions, and the collapse of its photosphere by nearly 10% all point to a star in terminal convulsions. Instruments aboard space telescopes like Hubble and Gaia have witnessed surface hotspots that appear and dissipate at unprecedented rates, while infrared sensors detect surges of dust being blown outward. Combining these data, theorists conclude that the star has passed the threshold of no return. It is now undergoing core fusion that produces iron, a process that robs the star of energy rather than releasing it. And once enough iron has accumulated, cataclysm must follow. As anticipation builds, amateur astronomers have found themselves at the forefront of Betelgeuse monitoring. Equipped with digital SLR cameras and affordable spectrometers, observers from remote desert outposts to backyard patios are contributing real-time measurements. These citizen scientists are providing Tyson and his colleagues a near-constant stream of data, observing the star's flickers and flares nightly. The democratization of astronomy has reached a new height. One need no longer secure time on a Nobel Prize-winning observatory to be part of the story. There is a communal thrill in tracking every dip and rise in Betelgeuse's glow, in feeling that each click of the camera shutter or adjustment of a telescope's mirror might capture the decisive signal of impending explosion. Observatories in Chile and Hawaii are correlating their readings with these ground-level logs, triangulating information to build a detailed chronology of the star's decline. What will the night sky look like once Betelgeuse erupts? Simulations suggest it will shine with an apparent magnitude of 9, blindingly bright yet soft enough to be gazed upon without risk to the eyes. It might become a second moon, hanging regal in the winter sky above the celestial hunter. Shadows will sharpen at midnight, and nocturnal creatures will pause, disoriented by the sudden radiance. Countries across the globe will find their cultural myths and legends reinvigorated, poets crafting new verses about the burning shoulder in Orion's stance. Traditional navigators who once charted oceanic courses by star positions will find their bearings momentarily rewritten by this cosmic lantern. 
astronomical societies will host watch parties on mountaintops and in planetariums, broadcasting live streams of the transformation as it occurs. The implications reach beyond aesthetics. Astrophysicists are poised to witness one of the closest supernovae in recorded history, a natural laboratory for high-energy physics that no terrestrial facility can duplicate. Instruments will capture neutrinos flooding Earth's detectors before the light arrives, offering a deep peek into the star's core collapse mechanics. The interplay of neutrinos, gravitational waves, and electromagnetic radiation will test our theories of nuclear physics, particle interactions, and general relativity. Models of heavy element formation, how atoms heavier than iron are forged in the crucible of a supernova, will be refined, illuminating the cosmic origins of gold, uranium, and platinum. Cosmologists will relish the opportunity to study the dispersed shockwave as it propagates through the interstellar medium. By mapping the expanding nebula, researchers can refine measurements of interstellar dust density and magnetic field structures. These insights help us understand how such explosions seed galaxies with the raw materials for new stars and planets. Already the remnants of ancient supernovae have been traced by their faint X-ray and radio signatures, but Betelgeuse's proximity presents an unprecedented level of detail. Radio arrays across continents will be tuned to the faint hisses of synchrotron radiation, while X-ray observatories orbiting our planet will image the heated ejecta sculpting itself into filaments and knots. In the realm of planetary defense, the event offers a unique stress test of our global communication networks and emergency response plans. Although Betelgeuse's distance ensures that harmful levels of radiation will not reach Earth's surface, the event will generate a surge of high-energy particles in near-Earth space that could affect satellites and power grids. Space agencies are already drafting contingency plans to mitigate potential disruptions to critical infrastructure. It is a reminder that astronomical phenomena, even those light years away, can have tangible consequences for our interconnected technological world. Governments and private ventures will collaborate to ensure that telecommunication channels, navigation satellites, and weather monitoring systems remain operational through the stellar tempest. Artists and designers are taking cues from Tyson's revelation, preparing new works that capture the drama and urgency of Betelgeuse's last act. Filmmakers are envisioning IMAX documentaries that merge live-action footage of sky-watching crowds with computer-generated sequences of the star's core implosion. Virtual reality experiences under development will let users travel across the stellar surface, witnessing convective granules churning like boiling plasma. Even fashion labels weigh in, drafting limited edition clothing lines printed with fractal patterns inspired by supernova shock fronts. The event transcends scientific circles, embedding itself in popular culture as a shared human moment. Philosophers and theologians are already weighing the deeper meanings of this cosmic finale. What does it say about the fragile transience of celestial behemoths that even the brightest stars must eventually die? Does our awareness of this impending spectacle reshape our sense of permanence, both on Earth and in our personal lives? Debates swirl around whether humanity should cherish this as a sublime reminder of our place in the universe, or find solace in the notion that life endures through cycles of creation and destruction. Universities are planning interdisciplinary symposiums where astrophysicists, ethicists, and spiritual leaders will gather to ponder the event's significance for our collective narrative. The event also raises questions about the future of observational astronomy. Betelgeuse's supernova will illustrate both the strengths of our current instruments and the gaps that remain. Once the explosion fades, attention will shift to designing the next generation of space telescopes and ground-based arrays. Engineers will seek to push sensitivity to detect supernovae even further away, to map their signatures across cosmic time. The lessons learned from Betelgeuse's collapse, how shock front structures evolve, how dust formation occurs in cooled ejecta will feed directly into the blueprints of new observatories. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Betelgeuse going supernova? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.